On this episode of Swamp Boys Garage, we're going to be changing the brakes on this 2019 Hyundai Elantra. My daughter said their car's been making a lot of noise, so I'm pretty sure that the, she wore it all the way down to the, to the bare metal. You can see how bad these rotors are. So I bought two new rotors and pads for the front. I'm not going to do the back today. I'm sure it needs it. We'll do that a little bit later. But it's a rainy day, so we're going to see if we can fit in the shed and not get wet. All right, I got all the tools out, everything ready to go. I don't know all the tools I need. I'll tell you as we figure it out together. I had to buy everything at AutoZone. I went to two other places, but nobody had anything for the Honda Elantra. So bought their premium one. So hopefully it's good enough. And before we get started, check out this product from today's sponsor. So this is the J400 Loki Thor battery jump starter. Now we always had this one, the J3250 with 3,250 amps. This is a smaller one. It's brand new. They just made it. It's the J400 and it has 2000 amps and it's good for, let's see where it's at, 8 liter gas, 6 liter diesel vehicle. So let's open it up, take a quick look at it and I'll have a link in the description on Amazon. See it's a lot smaller too so you can carry this. Like we'll take it with us on a jet ski if somebody else has a dead battery out on the lake we can jump them off easy so just a few little features it has a, a light on it or it flashes two different rates of flashing on this side you charge it with that or you have a USB out where you can charge your phone and it's a smart charger where you you can't hook it up wrong so let's see if we can Let's hook it up backwards and see what happens. All right, so let's put the positive on the negative. Negative on this one, see what happens. All right, we got a fault. Yeah, so it won't let us hook it up backwards. Let's do it the right way. Counting down, and it's good, 13 volts. Loki Thor makes some great products. We've been having this one a long time, and that, that'll jump off completely dead batteries at Copart. This one is pretty much everything that anybody really needs, and it's great to just keep with you. So I highly recommend it. Father's Day's coming up, be a great gift for Father's Day or birthday, so check them out. Link will be in, a, in the description below. All right, back to the car. Let's get it jacked up, get this tire off. Be interesting to see how bad it is. It was making some horrible noise when I drove it over here. So I know it's that little metal tab that's on the brakes. I'm sure it's all the way down to that. bad it might be the worst i've ever seen brakes i'm gonna do one side at a time that way if i forget how something goes back i can always go look on the other side all right so we're gonna need a 14 millimeter take off these two bolts i'm sure after i do this one i'll figure a easier way to do the other side So that takes off the this. You don't want to let it just swing down. So I'm gonna tie it up with some wire. And we got some bolts back here. 
and that way we take this off that way we can take the rotor off but if you was just going to do the pads you could stop here you can remove the pads and put new pads on so it's a simple job and this is like 500 bucks at the shop and you can get all this stuff for i think it was 133 all right we need a 17 millimeter to take the bolts off of this bracket you're gonna have to hit that with a hammer No pad left on these. No telling how long it's been making noise. Yep, zero pad. Now to get the rotor off, we got two screws. Best thing to do is tap them. And this isn't the right kind of screwdriver to be tapping. But it just helps free them up. That's it. See how simple this job is? Can you see that? Look how bad that is. This side's okay. So this pad, completely down to the metal. And this one's not too far behind. A little bit left. All right, the next step, we have to get this piston all the way back in. So I'm gonna take one of the bad brake pads, put this C-clamp. You just wanna do a little bit at a time. Just go slow with it. Really, so far to do this job, would we need a 14, 14, 17, and a C clamp? And you can change your own brakes. And this kit comes with all new hardware, so taking that out. And then we'll put some of the grease in it, or we'll grease up in here. And then the, the pads, see you have this little wear indicator or noise maker. So when the pad wears down at this point, this hits the rotor and starts making a ton of noise. And that's, if you see on here, it was here and she wore it all the way down to that broke off. So a little too far. And then the this piece is going to go on this side so just remember how you took it off and this side doesn't have the little noise maker so it's only one per side i right, just put this little brake lubricant came with the kit as well just putting a little bit of that on this pad went on this side We got a caliper all set up and you also want to check this make sure this has grease on it and slides back and forth otherwise it'll wear crooked and these rotors they come with a little oil on it so you want to take some brake cleaner and get that off no use putting oil on your brand new pads Don't forget to put these Phillips screws back in. Now we can bolt this back on. Put a little 
never seize on these it'll help it come off a little better the next time these bolts are a little rusty hopefully we never have to do this again for this car the car is 120,000 miles so hopefully it'll get another 120 and you should torque this down to whatever the spec is but I don't know how you're going to get a torque wrench in here anyway. Guess we could have turned the steering wheel and pointed it out this way. It would have been a little easier. All right, we can take our caliper off. these on these And that is it. That's how easy a brake job is. And after we press it, the, the, the piston will come out and make this tighter. All right, so let's do the other side. All right, before we do the other side, I'll give you a little update on the jet ski. Got a two by four by 12. We're gonna change out these, I think they call them bunks but it's split on this side over here completely busted see where it's at yeah so we got a roll of carpet i got a uh, sump pump we're going to install that and it's been running great and then we're going to go ahead and upgrade this carbon seal ring that way it keeps the water out a little better so we'll probably do that in another video so let's knock this side out and this car will be done. All right, <clears throat> this side's gonna go real quick and it's, and it's way easier when you turn the steering wheel. I don't know why I didn't think of that in the beginning, but you learn as you go. So you can actually get a torque wrench on there and get the torque specs just right. Much easier with a breaker bar. These pads aren't as worn down. I don't know what happened to that side. See, this one still has a little noise maker on it. And it's chipped away right there. So these were bad too. I guess they don't last a hundred and twenty thousand. And these rotors were good, but if you're changing one side you might as well change the other keep everything even I right, got the pads all set up got them greased and the little tracks we're gonna do our caliper piston next just remember always go slow and you want to make sure it's even that's why I use an old pad they got tools for this this is just the 
cheap way. Clean the oil off. And I completely lost the never sees. And I ain't going no nowhere from that side to over here. And I, that is 100% gone. I just don't know how that's possible. And then when you put this caliper back on, make sure it ain't all twisted. These springs kind of push it out, so you gotta push it back in. So this whole job was probably an hour and that's with filming. Filming makes every project twice as long. So I could probably did it in 30, 40 minutes. Very simple job. All right, before we go take it on a little test drive and see if it works or complete failure, I wanna change this air filter. I have to vacuum out the bottom. It's full of, we've got swarms of termites right now, and it's all in the bottom. Check the oil. It's only been about 3,000 or so since the last oil change. Looks good. All right, let's go test it out. All right, it's the moment of truth time. Let's go take it for a little test drive, see if it's gonna work, or see if we gotta tow it to a real mechanic. Pump it a few times. There it goes. So far, so good. All right, let's put it to the test. We're gonna get it up to speed and hit the brakes a few times. Make sure we don't have any noise. Make sure it works. Get away from the neighbors that actually know me. They might think I'm crazy. All right, stop good. No squealing. I think we got success. And make sure y'all comment below. Tell Tyler to get back in here and start working. He's been in all the leap testing, you know, track, cross country, hanging out with his friends. He's a teenager now, he got his own truck, so he's rarely home. So tell him to get back out here. I think we can call this job a success. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. We do a lot of different things. We're waiting on some vehicles to come up. I'm bidding on a, well, it's not up for bid, but I'm waiting for a, it's a Chevrolet Denali or GMC Denali, 1500. It's got some front end damage. It should be an easy fix. And then a Tahoe. Thinking about the Tahoe, we may do like a Overland vehicle like build the back out as a camper. So it'd have some drawers in it, 
and then a mattress on top of the drawers. So I think that would be pretty cool. And then we got a few other little, like, uh, what is it, Toyota Corolla, just something that we can maybe get a quick flip on, make some money. So as soon as some stuff comes up, we're gonna bid on it and try to win some stuff and get some more builds going. So hopefully we'll have more content and not just have to make little how-to videos, which a lot of people like these and helps out a lot of people. But um, appreciate you staying to the end, watching. If you got any tips, anything that could help me do a little better job at changing brakes, comment below. I'll read all the comments, appreciate it. And we will see you next time. <laughs>